this pattern calls for multiple of six plus four, or that is what pattern says, but I did have some left over. I'm not sure why these two patterns that I'm look I'm you know looking at there it doesn't quite add up. I'm not sure why. But anyway, um if you have chains left over, it's fine. You can always, you know, undo undo this and then just adjust it up to here. I would rather have, and I always state this in a lot of my videos, is that I would rather have, especially if you're going to do a blanket, man, you'd rather have cha leftover chains than not enough chains and have to, to um, you know, t uh, uh, start over, basically. I don't think so. so, just keep that in mind. So, I am doing a small sample. This is what, of course, by the, what it looks like. So it's a mesh pattern. So this would be like really it would really look nice in a in a lightweight. Not lightweight, sorry. In a light. Yeah, it is lightweight because it's a it's a three weight, so it's a lightweight yarn. Which is a little bit thinner than the fourth, if you're familiar with the, the yarn. So okay. So it says here that we are going to single crochet in the sixth chain from the hook. Oh goodness, I should have done this off camera because I can't see them. See, one, two, three, four, five, six. So single crochet there. Let's sit in the sixth chain from the hook. You're gonna do two more single crochets in the next two chains for a total of three single crochets together. No, not together. Um, what's that word? Oh, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs> so there it is, single crochet. Then you are going to chain five. Skip three chains. And then the fourth, you're going to do another set of single, cro single crochets. In the next three chains. Okay, there. And then again, chain five. And then do the same. Skip your three double single, ugh, your three chains. And then in the fourth, fifth, and sixth, you're going to do your single crochets. And that is your foundation row. Pretty simple. So it's going to look like that. Oops. Okay. So again, chain five. Skip your three chains. Seems like this yarn is less noisy than my other tutorials that I did. Ugh, it's a bad yarn. Yarn in the hook, we're making a lot of noise. This is um, the Word Hard With Love. So it's very soft, so it's very nice actually to crochet with. The others like Red Heart or Burnett. Um, there's another, uh, the other yarn from Joanne. Um, I can't think of the name. It's their brand. It's really, it's a real, it's really, um, it's like two or three dollars a skein. It is good yarn. So just because it's ch it's cheap doesn't mean that it's bad. It is good yarn because I I buy a lot of that yarn. Um, the other yarn, there's another yarn that Michaels has their own, also their own brand. So all those yarns, when I when I crochet with them, they always leave a mark here, and it comes to the point where I have to stop because it hurts because the yarn is so um, rough. Red Heart Super Saver yarn is rough, especially certain colors, like the green. Oh, there's a green one. Oh my God, it is very very rough, and it just you know it 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 hurts after a while. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking. And then again, just continue. So supposedly you should have two chains left. Let's see if that's true. Oh, I did. I did. So it is chain. So it is a. There we go. So you should have two two chains left. So it is a multiple of six plus four. 
because I did a multiple of six plus two and I was missing chains. And then I did plus six and then I had an, a lot of, uh, it was just a mess. But anyway, so it's six plus four. <clears throat> you're going to chain up two. And then the very last chain, you're just going to do a double crochet. Of course, it's never easy here. My dog is, is uh, snoring, I hope. It, it won't sh if you can't eat, I hope it won't the, show up on the, or, um, what do you call it? God, I cannot, I cannot communicate today. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so row number two, you're going to chain one. Then you're going to single crochet the same space. Chain three. Then you're going to, let me see, you're going to, in the, in the, you're going to do a single crochet in the middle of these single crochets. This is really easy. Chain three. Oops. Single crochet in the next chain five space. Chain three. Single crochet in the middle of the single crochet here. Chain, oh, sorry. <laughs> I was doing another pattern and that chain five just stuck Stuck with me. Chain three, single crochet in the next space, chain three, and then single crochet in the middle. Chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the middle, chain three, single crochet, and th chain three, single crochet here in the middle. Okay, so here at the end, you're going to do, you're going to chain three. Then you're going to do a single crochet on top of the chain three, which I can never find. So I'm just going to do it in a place where I know that it's going to look straight like this. Okay, so that's row number two. Row number three, you're going to chain one. Single crochet in that same space. Same space. Then you're going to do a single crochet right here in the, sp in the chain three space. We're going to chain five. Skip this single crochet, and here in this next space, we're going to do a single crochet. Oh, goodness. Single crochet, and then single crochet on top of this single crochet, and do a single crochet in the next space. So you have your three single crochets. Oh, goodness gracious. Sorry, the phone is plugged in and I just, okay. Chain five, skip the single crochet and then do a single crochet in this space. Single crochet in, in the top of the single crochet and then do a single crochet in this next space. Chain five, <clears throat> skip this one, and do the same. So you're always gonna skip this next single crochet. So to end this one, you're going to chain five. You're going to single crochet in the space right here. And then do your single crochet on top of the other single crochet down here. So that's your row number three. So row number four is gonna be like, it's exactly like row number two. So, chain one, single crochet. Oh my 
goodness. One, two, three. Let's see who's crochet in this space. One, two, three. Single crochet in the middle of the single crochets. Single crochet in the chain in the space in the chain five space chain three single crochet in the middle of the single crochets chain five chain three see I keep on five single crochet in the chain five space chain three and that is row number four Simple. Then you're gonna chain your three, and then do your single crochet in the la top of the single crochet, the last single crochet. Yep. So that's row number four. Now row number five starts out a little bit different. <clears throat> you're going to chain four. Then you're going to jump right here, this first set right here, or in this first space. Do your single crochet. Um, yeah, got confused there because I thought I was supposed to skip that one, but no, we got chain of four, go right here to the first space, single crochet on top of that one, and then a single crochet, have your three single crochets, and you're going to chain your five, you're going to skip this one. And then again, do your set of three single crochets. Skip this one right here. Kind of get lost in this yarn. I think it would look a lot better with a, a three weight yarn. Oops, missing two, so right five. And then here's your last set of the three single crochets. Then you're going to chain two here at the end, and you're going to do a double crochet on top of this single crochet. Actually, sorry, no, it's not a double crochet. It is a half double crochet because this chain four is a half double crochet plus chain two. So you're going to do a half double crochet at the end. And there you go, half double crochet. So that's it, so you are going to repeat um, rows from two to five, and that is your pattern. So I'll start you off on row number two, your chain one, single crochet, can't see, oh, I thought I had did it. Here you go, single crochet in that first space. And do your chain three, single crochet in the middle of the three single crochets there, chain three, single crochet and then chain five space, chain three, single crochet here in your middle, and that's it. So that's it. So rows number two to uh, five, I would end up in row Hmm, probably in row two. Yes, I ended up in row two. Well, you can end up in row five, I guess. It's, well, no, because of this, probably. If 
I think it would be neat um, if you do it on a number number two. And then you just do this and it, you can see the pattern. And that's it. So um, email me with any questions. Um, I hope you learned something new today and thank you for watching. Thank you.